Three Fight Breakdown. Amber Kitchen, aka AK-47, is a young Cornish fighter who is all set to lace up her gloves. She is currently signed with one championship and is ready to show what she can do. She is the England WBC Muay Thai World Champion. She comes from a famous fighting family in Cornwall. Here we see her sparring with her own mother. But don't be fooled, her mother is Julie Kitchen and was nicknamed the Queen of Muay Thai and won several titles in both kickboxing and Muay Thai. Julie intentionally started training after having twin daughters, Amber and Alea, so she could get rid of her baby weight, but ended up training it very seriously and competing. Julie retired a 13-time world champion in five weight divisions. She also performed in the King of Thailand's birthday celebration and was added to the WBC Hall of Fame. Her trainer is none other than Amber's father, Nathan Kitchen, who is the head coach and founder of the Touch Gloves Gym in Cornwall. So Amber literally grew up in the gym, being the daughter of the famed British kickboxing Muay Thai world champion Julie Kitchen and her father and coach Nathan Kitchen. Amber also has a twin sister, Elea, who she trains with and began training at the early age of three and spent most of their days at the gym where they would do their schoolwork before joining the training sessions. They both immediately took to the sport of Muay Thai and they had their first fight at nine years old. And check this, when they used to compete, they were so good that they would often face each other in the finals. But later, Alea would move away from the sport. But unlike her sister, Amber, continued fighting till this day. Amber would often struggle to find opponents at first due to her family's pedigree and reputation. But she has fought against many experienced oppositions, including a win over the highly regarded Jackie Bunton, and entered infusion at 18 against Acilia Worms, who gave up at the end of the second round. Amber will be looking to follow in her mother's footsteps at the age of 24, and time is definitely on her side, but she needs to get her career back on track after a string of narrow defeats after joining one championship. She dropped a split decision to Victoria Lipanska on one championship's debut in a fight that really could have gone either way where both fighters looked to implement their game plan Amber tried to keep Victoria at bay with her onslaught of kicks while Victoria took aim with her powerful boxing Victoria took command of the ring putting Amber on the back foot but the momentum of Victoria was enough to sway the judges in her favour and the split decision went to Victoria Lipianska. Three years later, Amber went the distance against Deandra Martin in another vicious three rounds of exchanging punches and kicks. But Amber faded after the first round, but the decision went unanimously to the Aussie Deandra Martin. In her last bout, she faced off against Filipina-American Jackie Bunton, where Amber won their initial encounter with Jackie five years ago. Amber has struggled to find her feet in one championship. On the other hand, Bunton has enjoyed plenty of success and wanted to avenge her loss against Amber Kitchen after seeing her fight in the same organization and watching her lose may have exposed her weakness. Jackie jumped on the opportunity to showcase her improvements, but Amber showed adversity against her. Jackie and fans were treated to another exciting fight but unfortunately for Amber who lost again on the judges scorecard in a unanimous decision. After taking part in three great battles since entering one championship and has come out on the wrong side of the judges decision every time, that said her ability to absorb damage and continue fighting makes her a formidable opponent. Hence, it will be a real loss if she were to be cut by the promotion. And it was time for Amber to make changes to her routine. 
as she has been coaching at her family's gym and was teaching and fighting at the same time and felt she needed to become a student again so she looked to relocate away from Cornwall the former tin mining town which now relies on tourism perhaps lacking in good sparring partners Cornwall may not be the best environment for an elite fighter and in the end she headed up to good old Leeds to join Bad Company one of the toughest gyms in the United Kingdom the home and training ground of Liam Hitman Harrison who also competes at one championship and has a ton of experience and knowledge in the fight game. Amber will be hoping that the move to Bad Company can help her to resurrect her career. She will be looking to get back to winning in 2023 and training alongside the likes of Liam Harrison, Jordan Watson and Richard Caden could be the key to the success she craves. Amber is very strong physically and likes to utilize her reach. She can be explosive and very aggressive and is very talented with her kicks and is able to string combinations with just her legs. And she utilizes her boxing to set up her kicks or uses it as a counter attack. She has little defense to her upper body as she does not block or parry very well. Most of the time she leans back or steps back to avoid attacks which leaves her open when her opponent closes the gap. This has been a recurring issue in her defense against a well-timed boxing approach. She likes to stand and trade strikes with her opponent, but leaves her face open as she often leaves openings in her guard. She often dwindles down at some point in the middle of the fight. I would like to see her work on her defense, especially against punches. If she can just parry or block majority of her opponent's boxing, I believe that would be a game changer. And if she can improve her cardio and keep the same pace she gives in the very first round, she would definitely be a force to be reckoned with. But let's see what changes she makes after joining her newfound gym in Leeds. Anyways, do you want to see more of Amber Kitchen? Who do you want to see her fight next? And what improvements would you like to expect? I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Peace.